Hello friends, I am back. I'm feeling refreshed. I had like a quick cat nap and a couple of <laughs> mugs of tea and I think I'm ready to go. I had to sage my room, get all that bad voodoo out of my room from that last unboxing and um, I'm not even gonna lie, I pretty much <laughs> ruined that stuff away. What a waste of money. But anyway, we're not here for that, right? We're here for good vibes. So, I have with me today my first ever box from Sugar Muses. So, they are a one-woman shop, which I love. I love support and women. Um, her name is Christy, and she has a few different boxes. So, she has Sugar Muses Deluxe. She has Midnight Muses Lux, and then... I think just midnight loot midnight muses <laughs> sorry here i go um but yeah she ordered she orders re 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 rewind all right she cur curates let me spit this out she curates a few different um boxes oh, maybe i should have waited a little bit before i started my next video maybe i'm still sleeping right now i can't even like talk because it's only been a minute but anyway if you're new here my name is Stacy I love doing unboxings and I am just a mess <laughs> if you want to laugh at me with me I mean come right over you're gonna have fun one way or another I promise but yeah so honestly I'm just really excited for this box it's a pretty like decent sized box too and it's it's got some weight to it. Does it say how much it weighs? Sometimes they do. Um, no, well, I mean, it's pretty hefty. So yeah, let's just get into it because I don't even know what I said already. But yeah, this is uh, this is uh, Sugar Muses. So like I said, she has a couple of different boxes and this is how it came too, just like this. And it's like really taped, which I probably should have started trying to open it before I got on camera but you know it is what it is we can do this we got this there we go that's not as bad as I thought it was all right so I'll give you guys first peek even though I'm super excited I want to see this oh I feel so it's funny so if you watched my last video you would see how like upset I was and whatnot but holding this box right now, I haven't even opened it. I just feel like happier. I don't know how to explain it. Like I just feel like goodness coming from this box. If that makes any sense. Well, you open it. Oh, and it says contents right there. And I, you know me, I like to be, I like to be, um, I was gonna say spoiled. Yeah, I like to be spoiled, but I like to be surprised. So I'll let you guys take a look. Oh, there's a couple of pictures. I'll show you guys this later. There's a couple of pages. And this is a, the Beltane box. So, oh, guys, this is so beautiful. Oh, Sugar Muses, all rights reserved. So I'm guessing this is also her artwork. If I'm not mistaken, she does her own artwork. If not, I will correct myself later on when I read um, the contents. But guys. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm here for it. Yes. She's got a cute little hat on. Then we have another beautiful picture. I'm like a wicked woodsy. I love taking hikes. When I say nature is my place in the bio, it truly is. Like anytime I feel like really super down, I go on a hike and I just, there's something with the trees. Just, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now, but it, it revives me. I love nature. And this picture right here just speaks to me. I really love this. And it says, While tulips lift the banner red, or fill their cups with fire instead, sweet hyacinthias their bells did ring to swell the music of the spring. That's so pretty. Flora's Feast by Walter Crane. So this is by Walter Crane. Did that say it was by somebody? I think this is by Sugar Muses. This says it's by Walter Crane. I hope you guys can like really see that detail. Like, and it's got that cute little poem. 
that's really pretty guys like i really like that yes i love that oh see i already feel special like just look so i lifted those two things up and just look how like it's this is packaged with care this is packaged with good intentions like you can feel it like how cute oh oh looks like we got an oracle card 17 oh that's so funny that's so i have a couple of favorite numbers and 17 is one of them because that's when my oldest was born on that date so i really love that so this is the or and what's funny is a little baby right here and another one right here so yeah i can't wait to like see oh it's elves or something something's in the corner and there's angels up top Oh, I'm really excited to see what this means. All right, so this is the back. Okay, you like your little angel cherubs? Or is it baby? Oh, it's angels holding the baby. The more I look at it, the more I'm seeing. All right. But you see those guys over there in the door? And then the baby in the crib. And then you see the angels up here watching over. That's really cool. Let me put it like this. I think you can see better. Oh, there we go. And then let me show you the back of the card again. So beautiful. So I'm excited to see what, what this means. It spoke to me right away, the number 17 and everything. I feel like this box was like made for me. All right. Oh, it's so pretty package. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. I just like moved the paper out of the way and just look at that. Do I get this in the frame? I don't know. It's just so pretty. Oh, I don't even know what to pick up first. All right, let's start with the herbs. Hawthorne leaf dried herb. So we got some hawthorn leaf. Why was I doing it before you guys could see it? There we go. We got some of that. I don't think I have hawthorn leaf. I don't think I have any of this. Hmm. Oh, it reminds me of something on a farm for some reason. I don't know why I'm getting farm vibes when I smell it. It reminds me of like being on a farm for some reason. I'm interested to know what's in this. And why that correlates with me like that. All right. Next I see nettle leaf dried herb. Got some nettle leaf. I love smelling things. See this? It's all giving me like that very earthy, like. I'm bad with smells, but smells always make me think of a place. If that makes any sense to you, like, I don't know. Oh, we got this wicked cute sticker of a fairy. Oh, I love that. Look at her. There we go. Look how cute she is. Oh, I'm gonna put that in my BOS. That's so adorable. And then we have organic loose leaf tea, caffeine free. Oh, this oh, this tea looks very good. It has burdock root, dandelion root, nettle leaf, marshmallow root, red clover leaf and flower, alpha alpha leaf, peppermint leaf, licorice root, ginger root, calendula, calendula flower. Wow, it has a lot of good stuff. I'm not going to open it yet because I still have some tea and I want to keep this fresh for when I use it. But look, you can see like the dandelions and stuff right there in it. It's pretty cool. So we got some tea and the back is just like green. I love tea, especially loose leaf tea. Oh, and we got a, some tea bags. I actually just had to um, buy some because I had so much loose leaf tea, but I didn't have any more tea bags. But cool, they gave us a tea bag. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Next, we have a beautiful beeswax candle. Oh, my God. There's something on the other side of it. Look at this. That is so beautiful. Guys, I love this box. And I'm looking at the candle, and I can see that inside there's, like, herbs and stuff. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, the specs and stuff. That's inside the candle. 
I don't know if you can see it though. I know you can probably see like right there, down the bottom. So when she hand rolled this, she rolled like some herbs. It smells sweet. It kind of smells like tea. It's, it's interesting. It smells like sweet tea. It's interesting. I want to know what this is. This is so pretty. It has those different colored greens and some like rusty color in there. And then like, you guys get a really good look at that. Like that is like really beautiful. And it's on this. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm so excited about this box. I just knew it. I just knew it after talking to her. I was just like, you know what? This is going to be a good box, Stacey. Oh, she like made a little wooden thing that you can um, hang up. I can hang it up around here. I got all kinds of things hanging up. And it has a butterfly on it. And it's just like a piece of wood, you know? It's connected with nature. That's cool. I could put it on like a doorknob or something. That's cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh. Beltane Ritual Salts. Did I put that the right way? Yeah. Beltane Ritual Salts. Pretty sticker. And then it's just salts with some herbs in there. Does it say? It's four ounces. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that right there. But we'll figure out what that is when I read the thing. There's a bunch of big chunks in there. Oh, that smells delicious. Ooh, that smells so good, guys. Like, every time I smell it, I smell something different. But it smells so good. I want to know what's in there. Oh, that smells so good. All right. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, I think it's one more little thing, and then it looks like there's a big thing in here. Oh, I really love this. So next I pick up this cute little wrapped crystal that looks beautiful and I didn't even take it out of the bag yet. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is so cool. It feels like glazed. But that's the bottom. Let me put this over here for a second so I can really show you guys. Like, how pretty is that? That's like gorge. Look at that. That's so pretty. I can't wait to see what this is. I'm not even going to guess because I honestly don't know. But it's so pretty. I just want to like keep holding it. So interesting. All right, what did I do with the little baggie? All right, let's put this on this side. And last but not least, wow, what is this? Oh, I think it's a plaque. Oh wait, there's something else in here. All right, before I show you the big thing, I didn't even see this guy it was over here in the corner. Wow, this box, this box, this box was packed. This was backed. That's my new word, baxed, for a box that's packed. Baxed. This was baxed. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks like, a, like maybe a roll-on perfume or something. Let's see. Fairy Folk Lily Jasmine and Sandalwood Essential Oil Blend. All right. Ingredients. Oh, I love that she put the ingredients. It's hard for me to see. Sorry. Essential and jo jojoba oils. Proprietary fragrance, shake and apply. Two wrist, always perform skin patch test before topical use. Oh, it doesn't really. So it's essential and jojoba oils. All right, let's try this out. I don't have any perfume on or anything. I've been home all day, so let's try this bad boy out. Oh, this smells so beautiful. Oh, yeah, you can really smell the jasmine. That's what jasmine and lily smells like together. That's beautiful. Oh, I really like this. That was my patch test. It feels so soft, too. 
Oh, let me show you guys. I'm like, oh, like, let me just roll it on. It has cute little, like, um, mushrooms, little forest theme, and that's what the front looks like. Sorry, guys. I'm all discombobulated. But, yeah. And that's a big, that's a big bottle. Like, that's almost as big as my hand. That's a big bottle. All right. Now, last but not least. Oh, this is so beautiful. I just want to make sure I want this. Oh, I'm lying. There's two more stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's inside gel, but still. And they're lavender. We have some lavender incense. And it looks like we received, I think, eight. Oh, I can smell them. I don't even have to open these. I can already smell them. Oh, it smells so pretty. I love light and lavender when I have, like, headaches and stuff. I don't know why. It, like, it helps. But, yeah. That's some incense. We got a lot of stuff in this box. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you make a subscription box. Packed with love and all kinds of goodies. I'm going to check one more time. All right. I'm serious now. Last but not least. We have our big item. That's wrapped. Oh, this is going to be my first plaque, guys. I'm excited. I'm calling it a plaque. I don't even know what it is, but that's what I... Yeah, that's a plaque. We're calling it a plaque. So this is our plaque. You know, I didn't show you yet. Oh, that's so cool. So you can, like, change it for the seasons. Look at that. It's like the tree of life, but all around. That is so cool. And I was just telling you guys how I love the forest and tree. I mean, forest and trees. And, oh, I love this box, guys. Christy, you did such an amazing job. She made my day. She made my day. Look how pretty this is. And she made this scene. You can, like, hang it. It has a little hole right here. I'm pretty sure she made it. I could be wrong, but we're going to read about it right now. That's so cool. Loving Sugar Muses. They are on my chick. I will be receiving you every month. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Sugar Muses Bell Team, April 2023. We got our incense. I ain't going to go over all the stuff until. Wait. Does she go over? Yes, she does. Okay. I just want to make sure before I start reading. So she gives us some correspondences, symbols, fire, maypole, deities is goddess flora, may queen, green man, elements, the fae, nature spirits, planet, the moon, my favorite planet of them all, botanicals, lily of the valley, foxglove, lilac, ash, birch, jasmine, bluebell, blackberry, offerings, spring flowers, spring water, floral oils, crystals. Sorry, my throat's starting to hurt because I talk so much. Beltane is an ancient Celtic Sabbath held April 30th through May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere. It is traditionally known as a quarter day, the halfway point between the spring equinox and the summer equinox. This month's box was curated and created to celebrate Beltane, meaning bright fire, an ancient Celtic Sabbath celebrated, I just said that, April 30th to May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere. The earliest May Day celebrations appeared with the Flor Floralia, hold on, Floralia, Floralia Festival of Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers, held between April 27th and May 3rd. All right, so it's telling us some traditions. I'll just read it to you. So if you want to stay, stay. If you don't, peace and love. But I'm going to read it because I really enjoyed this box and I'm going to read what she has to say. So the bale fire or bell fire is a tradition that goes back a long time, a long time. And a fire lit at Beltane is said to bring about both protection and prosperity. Beltane bonfires are traditional ways to purify by burning away the last remnants of winter and turning stuck energy into vibrant power in life. I like that. One of the tradition, traditional rituals of Beltane, which survives to this day, is decorating may bushes. Hawthorn. Oh, that's what we got some Hawthorn, right? Um, with ribbons laced with wishes and intentions and setting them to blow in the wind, casting the wish out into the universe and offering them to the Fae. 
In the Wiccan tradition, Beltane is the celebration of the union of the goddess and the god, the male and the female energies. Witches and pagans who observe the wheel of the year celebrate Beltane as the pinnacle of spring. We give thanks for the fertility of our planet and the ability of the earth to renew herself. Spring is a time to revel in this new growth, to tap into the energy of the season and to help bring new life into our spells, intentions, and energy work. It's so beautiful. I love springtime. When we perform rituals and celebrations to help turn the wheel turn the wheel of the year, we reconnect to the natural rhythms of the earth to the in-breath and out-breath and to the heartbeat of the earth, beating the rhythms of life beneath us. Beltame is the time when the gates open between the worlds of the unseen, of the seen and unseen, a chance to connect to the elementals and to have wishes manifested. The magical contents of this box can be used in order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. And that's really pretty and it has the, I don't know if you can see it, I'll put this behind it. It has like the wheel um, of the year in the middle, the contents. It's beautifully written. I really love this box. All right, so the lavender incense. Burn at the beginning of your rituals to cleanse your space and to set intentions. The smoke naturally cleanses and charges your crystal altar and represents the element of air as well as fire. This herb is associated with restful sleep, long life, peace, wishes, protection, love, and purification. Cool. Beltane ritual salts. Natural salts have endless uses and magical work. Wonderful for cleansing and charging, scrying mirrors, casting circles, and purification baths. I like to mix my salts together with my finger and speak my intentions out loud. You may wish to say, May this salt cleanse the energy of my home, sacred circle, and protect me from all negative energy. Well, I was hoping she was going to tell me what was in here. Some kind of flower. That's all I know. It smells like a beautiful flower. I just, I'm not sure which flower. All right. Fairy folk ritual oil, which is this right here. This oil contains natural, organic, botanical, and flower essential oils of lily, jasmine, and sandalwood, and an almond oil base infused with vitamin E oil. Oh, I love that. Use this oil to anoint yourself, candles, charms, talismans, spell bags, crystals, ritual tools, and other items. Oil represents the element of water. It smells divine. I love this smell. Hawthorn leaf which was this bright guy right here. The Hawthorne tree is one of the sacred trees of Wicca and witchcraft and is associated with Beltane and May Day, spring celebrations. Oh, I didn't know that. Sacred tree, huh? Beltane honors the sun god, Belinus, whose festival originally commenced on the first day the Hawthorne tree blossomed. It was often referred to as the May tree because it traditionally flowered during the month of May and its blossoms are used for May Day decorations. After your Beltane celebration, return the berries to nature as an offering to the nature spirits. I love this, so much information. It smells so good. Raw green calcite. Oh, that's what this beautiful thing right here is. Raw green calcite, now we know. You guys might've known that. I, I don't own one of these, so I don't know. Unless I own one, I'm very like, I don't know. I learn as I go, you know? Uh, green calcite is ruled by Venus and aligns with the energies of Virgo and Cancer. Both my children are Cancer, so that's cool. This translucent, fascinating green crystal helps balance heart-centered energy, promote spiritual growth, and bring in abundance. I love that. It's so beautiful, too. Hand-rolled Beltane candle. Created to celebrate Beltane. This candle is hand rolled and infused with dried herbs and essential oils. It holds an impression jasper, which is also known as imperial jasper, sea sediment jasper, and regolite. Okay, good to know. It has a couple of names, sea sediment jasper, regolite jasper, imperial jasper. Cool. May nature inspire you, may love surround you, may spirit protect you, and may you manifest your heart's desires, so mote it be. Wheel of the Seasons wall plaque. This right here. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
handmade from quality cold cast resin and hand painted. See, she did make this. The Wheel of Life concept emphasizes balance and harmony of one's soul, starting with the all-rounded pentagram star. The Celtic knot, Celtic knot roots extend out to blooming leaves that represent the four seasons of the year. I love that. So you can have this around all the time. Um, balance Organic Tea. Oh, I hope she tells me what's in that. Oh, I already told you guys what was in this, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, you may wish to ground yourself with some food and a cup of the Balanced Organic Tea. This tea is all natural. I've included a muslin tea bag to use with your loose leaf tea. The ceremony connects the spiritual plane with the earth plane and helps to ground and center after the energy magical work. When you are finished with your spell ritual work, express your gratitude for the Fae or nature spirits for their time and help. Then leave the offerings on your altar for at least three days. Cool, I can't wait to drink some of that. It's coming up, guys. It's coming up. All right. Uh, Beltane Enchanted. Wait, where was I? Beltane and Enchanted Forest Art Prints, which were also very beautiful. By the extremely talented Francesca from Gypsy Crafty. Place on your altar or add it to your Book of Shadows. Oh, so this was by... So this wasn't by Christy, my bad. This is by the talented um, Francesca from Gypsy Craftery. I'm guessing that's where you would find her, Gypsy Craftery. She did this. Place on your altar or add it to your BOS. Ooh, the Oracle card, okay. Search for the Fairy Oracle on sugarmuses.com. Oh, for more information on this deck. <laughs> All right, so I'll have to look that up on my own and see what that card was about. But that is so lovely. Like, there was a lot of items in this box. And then at the end, she gave me a Beltane ritual. I honestly, I really enjoyed this box. I am so glad that I opened this box secondly because I'd rather be disappointed first and then happy second. You know what I'm saying? But these are, like, beautiful, right? All the beautiful artwork, the cute little um, fairy sticker. Um, she didn't mention this though, which I think it was just like a little, little doodad like she made. Like I said, I'm probably gonna hang it in my Zen Den. But yeah, tell me what you guys thought. I, as you can tell, because I said it 15 times, love this box and honestly i can't wait till next month to get another box and i honestly can't wait to um i'll probably do an unboxing on the items that i ordered from her website i think i only ordered three or four things so it'll be like a really short quick thing but it's stuff that you know she made and whatnot so i'm really excited for that and i really love this she did an amazing job i really love this box i'm gonna say it a million times but yeah tell me what you all thought if you lasted this long, I appreciate you and I thank you for watching and coming out and hanging out with me and, you know, all that jazz. So, yeah, until next time, much love to you all. May lots of abundance blessings come into your life. I'm going to, like, manifest, like, lots of blessings into your life this season. And, yeah, you know, much peace and love. Until next time, bye.